What is up, everybody? My name is Dane Thompson. Welcome back to another episode of Burn Down. So, in today's episode, we are still on the Malibu and Paint Project. Although I do realize it's a new year, this thing is supposed to be running, so I had to quit screwing around and get things done. So, I'm going to go gangbusters today, hopefully, tomorrow, and get the rest of the paint done. That way, I can call my buddy, he can do the pinstripe, and I can move on. We got a motor sitting over there, we got to build. I got to buy a few more parts, but I have enough, I think to get rolling and get started on the engine, which most of you guys are here for. So I think what we will do today, considering you've watched this process kind of multiple times, what I didn't show you last time or share with you is how I go about back taping the car. So I have transfer tape that I used for stickers and I found it when I started doing custom paint. So it's a really wide roll of masking tape essentially, and we'll cover it. And then I'll show you, it's kind of like transferring the pattern. Uh, we'll use our little crayon and draw it. And then I have to come by hand and use a razor blade. So this is where the hands-on stuff really works. I mean, this is all hand done. You gotta use feel with a razor blade so you're not cutting all the way through the tape into your paint. Um, so it does take some practice. I would advise anybody that wants to get into custom paint or try some stuff, uh, like my buddy William that came over, he tried some stuff, what was it, a couple weeks ago, he painted the bumper and stuff black. He's pretty excited and he keeps shooting me some messages about, hey, I'd like to try some more painting. How do I get started doing it? Well. My advice to anybody that watches this and that gets inspired and wants to get you know crazy with the cheese whiz uh, would be just go get yourself like a cheap touch-up gun at Harbor Freight. I think they have one for about 30 bucks. I wanna say I got one in the drawer. If I do, I'll dig it out and show you guys. Um, and it's a smaller gun. And the reason I'm suggesting that versus a big one is I would suggest you paint smaller items such as like skateboard decks or flat surfaces or things that are easy to finish up and accomplish instead of trying to do a whole damn car at one shot. Um, that way you get the gist of it, you get how to spray, how to tape and mask, and if you screw it up, it's not that bad. Also, it's not going to chew up a lot of material to do something of that size. When you graduate to full vehicles or wheelbarrows or whatever, mini fridges, whatever you want to paint, it starts taking more material. And if you're not that well versed and you screw things up, you're going to trash a lot of material. Material is not cheap in the paint world. Um, I know people think they can do a whole car for like a thousand bucks or 500 bucks. And depending, I mean, I guess if you want to run Rust-Oleum, uh, you could do something like that. But if an automotive grade based paint is still uh, pretty pricey. And then this is what you have to consider is it's not just the paint. Everybody thinks, oh, paint. You've got sandpaper, reducer, acetone, gloves, sticks, strainers. Uh, you got to wear a respirator. I mean, all of those things add up. If you just had to buy paint and you could just put it on the car, yeah, you know, but that's only one portion. It's the big chunk of the money that's invested, but there are more associated costs with it that people that don't paint or never have won't understand. And until you go to a paint store and they slide that bill across the counter or they give you the total on what those five items you have sitting on the counter cost, uh, you're never gonna understand. I've watched multiple people have their faces melted uh, when it's, you know, one or two thousand dollars worth of material and they're like you got a few cans of stuff here where is how is that possible well welcome to painting so let me get started i'll back tape it and then i will show you guys how we find our lines in our edge and how we cut it and then reveal the flames that we're going to throw the candy paint on so thank you guys for sticking around thank you for watching i know this is painful for a lot of you but we're going to get through it we'll have some flames and we got motor stuff coming um, I got a transmission to build for a buddy, so we'll have lots of fun mechanical stuff uh, coming up. And then the most important part that I think even I forgot about is the sweet sound of a running motor, some smoky burnouts, and trying to go fast because that is what it is actually all about. Now we just look like we're fast sitting still. Now I got to back it up and we got to put down some decent times. My buddy Happel is posting some of his old videos too, where he was foot braking on that same tire that I have on the car, and he was running like nine sixes in a Fairmont. So uh, that makes me feel terrible about myself. So I gotta step my game up so I can at least do better. Granted, a Fairmont is a Fox platform and that's like the easiest platform on the planet to make go fast, but that is no excuse because I should be able to make this go just as fast with enough effort. You guys, let's get rolling. I'll quit yapping. All right, so we've got the back mask complete for the most part. Because I'm outside and I can see this really well, I'm not going to scribble on it, I'm just going to cut it. You can see the green to the white, and then even like in the shade, you know, the camera can't focus, but I can still see it fairly good. 
because I'm in direct sunlight. If you were somewhere you couldn't see it though, you could take your little um, grease pencil or you know char char charcoal pen or whatever the thing is called, and um, you could just shade it like that, and then you'd see a nice line. And then when you come with your razor blade and cut it, um, it'd be easy to follow. But again, I'm fortunate enough at this point, my eyesight is good enough that I can just see it and not going to waste time scribbling on something that I don't need to be scribbling on. So that is that. I put these pieces of tape here because this stuff is sticky, but it's not that sticky and it wants to flip up. So the other thing is if you've noticed or not, you probably hear it in the mic, the wonderful wind decided to kick up. We've got like 10 mile an hour with 16, 16 mile an hour gusts at this point. Um, it should hopefully, please, please die down by the afternoon but I think what I will do is I'm going to cut out the flames um, and then we'll wait to peel it all back if it starts getting real ridiculous obviously I can't do anything oh see there we go so obviously if it gets really ridiculous it's kind of an end to my day doing this and I'll just put the car cover back on and find something else to do but that's where we stand right now unless the wind kind of dies down it's just giving me a fit so i think i'll trace the pattern you know with the razor blade i'll cut it but i'm not going to peel anything yet and then we'll just kind of leave it and watch what the wind does maybe go spend some time with my son and draw pictures or play battle bots or something and we'll come back out here hopefully hopefully the wind dies down because man it's just chewing up a whole day of me sitting there and uh not good but it is what it is what are you gonna do right test your patience <laughs> All right, here we are. We are back again. Yesterday was terrible. It just got more and more windy. And the problem with the wind, with what I'm doing, is it blows the tape up. And because I live in the dirt, you can see there's dirt everywhere. It literally was covering dirt. I was trying to like wipe it off before I was laying the tape down. So if the tape gets dirty, it doesn't stick very well. So there's been there's edges where it flipped up and it's full of dirt, so the edges won't stay down. So, oh geez, it's a rough day over here. All the dogs are just going haywire. Hey, I'm trying to film. I know you want to play with the egg. Give me a second, okay? So anyway, we are back out here. We'll take the cover back. We'll take the cover back off. I'm gonna go hide from her over here. Let's hide. There, maybe she can't see us. She's so upset. Anyway, we'll take the cover off. Um, it's slightly breezy, so I'm just gonna fight the wind with, it's just real light plastic. So this stuff just is a parachute. So we'll try to back tape the rest of the stuff, wrap the car up, and then I'll try to get the plastic taped up so it's not flopping all over the place. And then we'll prep and see how we go. If it's just barely breezy, I could probably spray. Um, but if the wind picks up, it's not gonna, it's not looking good for putting color down. I really want to get through the whole enchilada this weekend but weather is weather and there's nothing i can do i mean am i happy about it not in the slightest but what are you going to do right although i do know that i can guarantee like a mind reader like future teller tomorrow is going to be dead silent it's going to be a beautiful day and i will be having to work on the things that i need to work on instead of my car but Let's not get too ahead of ourselves and get too upset that tomorrow's probably going to be a lot nicer than today. We're going to do with what we got. So let's go take that off, see if there's any damage from the cover flapping real bad in the wind yesterday. Fix the tape and then just push forward. His goonies never say die and we got to get this project done. So we can build some motors and do some smoky browns and have some fun. So back to it. You are angry. Stop being so angry. Let's go see her real quick. She wants to say hi to everybody. What's up, girl? What's up, girl? 
Oh. You fixing it with a hammer? Oh, and a saw. You got a saw? Don't hammer the paint job. Oh, there you go. All right. All right, so we got a little bit of uh, damage here. It's not too bad, but see like on these edges, you probably can't see in there, but this, this is all dust and dirt. So this isn't gonna wanna lay back down. So I gotta tape all these. And uh, same thing, I mean, I don't know if you can see this, but this is like just full of sand and dirt. So again, all these flaps, see, they all have dirt. So now I've got to retape all these edges to that after we wipe this all down. Yeah. So now we don't get a bunch of overspray everywhere. Other than that, the only the only thing to do would be to redo this part, which I really don't want to. So we're gonna blow this off as best we can. We'll tack rag it, and then we're gonna tape these edges. Um, then we'll move forward. But yeah, look at these things. What's up, Bubba? What? Uh, you guys want to see a monster truck jump over eight monster trucks when Daddy's done working on his car? They would love that. Looks like we got to jump some play monster trucks after I'm done working. We'll put that in the video. He's pretty excited about it. So, all right. But yeah, so all the dust and dirt. The wind is trying to... Uh, Make not work with me so let's get after it mother nature's kicking my butt all right so we got all the edges uh, taped down for the most part all the way the hot rod gods listened to my plea thank you and um, it's not that windy so I'm gonna get after I'm not gonna film very much because I really want to take as much time as I can to get as far as I can so we'll bring you back I'll show you guys where I've got gotten to and then stick around after that because uh, my son wanted to make a monster truck video. So we're going to spend a little effort and I'm going to have a little fun with him. We'll throw that at the end of this video and I don't know. Hope you guys, hope it brings out the kid in you and you guys enjoy. So let me get to work. We'll bring you back. I'll show you where we got to. Wish me luck. All right. Well, we did it. I had more than enough time. And because I'm a gambling man and the weather really came around to being in my favor, um, I decided to go for it. So we put all the color and the clear down. I've got two hours before the sun goes down. Hopefully the thing locks up. It's like 70 something degrees out here, which should be perfect. And I feel if we can get that lock up before the sun goes down, it starts to cool off. Um, I think we're going to be all right. So tomorrow we'll tell. And, um, you guys will probably know by, by the time this video drops, if my plan worked out or not. So, uh, there's no reason to ask you guys to keep your fingers crossed because like I said by the time this thing drops what's done is done so that is it uh, stay tuned for one second after this thing I'll show you what this looks like and then my son and I are gonna put together a little monster truck clip real quick for you guys because he was really enthusiastic about that this morning and uh, I told me to include it in the video so we'll check this out and then uh, some monster truck jumps you know So there it is. Shadowed. Has the lime gold, organic green. And then I did a real quick drop coat of the organic green over the whole thing to give it more of a tint. So it wasn't so gold. But these should look like these. That is the goal. And uh, I think we did pretty good. So that is it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your time. I'm out. You ready? You gotta announce it. Who is gonna jump eight monster trucks? Count it down. Three, two, one, go! Monster truck jump. Monster truck jump. Monster truck jump. Monster truck jump. Monster truck All right, good job, monster truck. Monster truck jumper guy. What are we gonna do next time? Mm, we're gonna use Max T. Use Max D? Yep. All right. Tell everybody bye. Bye. Just say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching our video of monster trucks. <laughs> Thank you guys. Have a good one. <laughs>